The Qingming Festival, which usually falls sometime between April the fourth and the sixth each year, on the one hundred and eighth day after the winter solstice, is one of the twenty-four seasonal division points in the traditional Chinese calendar. Qingming, literally meaning pure and bright, indicates rising temperatures and increased rainfall at the start of spring. The solar term embodies the thorough observation by ancient Chinese of nature and climate. With the arrival of good weather, Qingming is considered the high time for spring plowing and sowing. It always rains around Qingming, providing a typical scene for the festival. Some 1,200 years ago, a Chinese poem written by the great Tang Dynasty poet Du Mu illustrated a scene of Qingming. In which a shepherd boy points out the way to a tavern for pedestrians on a heavily rainy day. The Qingming Festival sees a combination of sadness and happiness. In contrast to the sadness of the tomb sweeping activity at this time, people also enjoy the hope of the arriving spring on this day. They love to play on a swing and fly kites during the festival to release the pent-up vitality after the winter gloom. As the most important day of sacrifice, Chinese people have long used the occasion to sweep the tombs of their ancestors and offer sacrifices to them. The Han Shi Festival was previously staged one day before the Qingming Festival. According to legend, the Han Shi Festival was set to commemorate Jie Zitui, a renowned senior official of the Jin State during the spring and autumn period. Jie Zitui was widely known for his act in cutting off flesh from his thigh and offering it to the prince of the Jin State, Chong Er, who was starving and distressed. Later, when Chong Er became Duke Wen of the Jin State, he ordered a search for Jie Zitui, who had gone into seclusion in the remote mountains with his mother. Jie Zitui had no political ambitions and felt ashamed to work with his hypocritical fellows. Hence. He refused the duke's invitation. In desperation, Duke Wen ordered the mountains to be burnt in an attempt to force Jie to come out. However, adamant in his disgust at the bureaucracy, Jie ended up dying with his mother in the fire. Jie's persistence seems hard to understand nowadays. However, his indifference to fame and fortune was respected and praised highly in ancient times. In his memory. People did not cook on that day, and only cold food was served. Since ancient Chinese often extended the day's observance to the Qingming, the two festivals were later combined. Now, the custom of only having cold food has been abandoned, while tomb sweeping and sacrificing to ancestors remain. Qingming represents the best of spring scenery. Sacrificing to ancestors during such wonderful time showcases the importance of inheritance in Chinese people's mind. Thanks to such awareness of inheritance, Chinese culture has always maintained a vitality for thousands of years.